Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, as you can see here, I do have a PR package from Double Dip. They were kind enough to send over some of their products to be shown and reviewed in today's video. I'm going to be showing some more jelly tips and also the build your own dip kit. I am super excited to try these out, especially these jelly nail tips. Recently, I've been doing a little bit shorter to medium length nails. So if that is your type of thing then definitely stay tuned because these nail tips were awesome along with this build your own dip kit that I will be furthermore explaining and talking about later on into the video. So starting off with the jelly tips I did just want to show these. These are their Bellavina jelly tips and the size almond medium. I guess the shape not the size and the length. The shape and the length is almond medium. They are a little bit shorter. I wouldn't say so much that they're medium. I felt like they were more of a short length, but I was totally fine with it. I think they are really cute nail tips. They are full cover. Um, you get 12 sizes. They are clear and 300 pieces. I think that is super great quality. They are also very good quality nail tips. Um, they are jelly. They are not plastic. They are gel, so they will cure to gel, which makes them a lot more higher quality. And honestly, I feel like these nail tips last a lot longer than the plastic nail tips. They did run a little bit small. When you are sizing your nail tips out, you do want to make sure it fits your natural nail from sidewall to sidewall. If it is a little too large, like that first one I showed, I could always file it down to make it fit perfectly, but it is always best to try to really find a nail tip that fits your sidewall from sidewall, and you can do a little bit of filing, but right here you can see it really had overhang. That was a size number one, and for my thumb, size number two fit perfectly. The reason I say these ran a little bit small is because Normally, I am a size 3 for my thumb, but instead, I was a size 2. I really like this little box that they come in instead of coming in little plastic bags. That is really nice, and you can check out their website for more shapes and lengths of their jelly tips. I definitely recommend them. One of my favorite nail tips, especially gel nail tips, and you can also save 20% off with my discount code BRANDY20. Their jelly tips will be linked in the description box below, but let's go ahead and move on to the build your own dip kit. This is the Double Dip Nail Dip Starter Kit, and this is the six color option. They do have three options on their website. You can choose one color of dip powder, four colors of dip powder, or the best value, which is the six color of dip powder and what I'm going to be showing today. This is $80 on their website, but you can get a discount with my code again. Their social medias are down below. It also has some little tips and tricks here. Well, not really tips and tricks, just product information. I thought it was pretty amazing that you could get 40 sets per jar of dip powder. Like, that is awesome. It definitely will change depending on the length of nail, but still, 40 nail sets is pretty awesome. It is really cruelty-free, PETA approved. You do not need to use a nail UV LED nail lamp, so it is safe and natural. These are easy to remove, 15 minutes or less. Designed in Texas, last three to four weeks and 10 free, which means no harmful chemicals. I absolutely love Double Dip. I love using their dip powders, knowing that they are cruelty free, PETA approved, and also 10 free, no harmful chemicals. And really, a dip manicure can last three to four weeks. That saves you a lot of money when it comes to going to the salon every two weeks to get a new nail set. You can do your nails at home and save so much money in a year with buying this kit. Like I said, it's $80 on 
on their website and you can get 20% off of that. So I think that is an amazing deal and will definitely just save you a lot of money since you'll be able to skip the salon. Also, this comes with everything you need to do your nails. So let's go ahead and unbox it and I'm just going to be showing everything that is included. They do obviously give you the basics with some extra little added goodies just to make it easier for your dip manicures and just, I don't know, just so you don't have to purchase anything extra, they just include it all. Starting off here is we get the little dip tray. You can pour the product over this dip tray or you can also pour the product in and dip your nail in. So it does act as a two-in-one little dip tray, which is very nice. It also comes with a lid. This is very convenient. I did try using it today. I liked it, but honestly, I just like using cupcake wrappers. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but that is included in case you don't have cupcake wrappers. This also includes the essential dip liquids. We have the dip base, which is the red step number two. We have the activator, which is the yellow step number three. These are super, super important when it comes to dip powder. These are like the main essentials. We have the dip top, the blue, which is step four. I also realized that on here, it actually shows the instructions on, like right here, it's hard to see on camera, but it will show you how to use that certain step. So I think that was really nice because even if you lose your instruction manual, you still have it just right on the bottle there. That way, in case you do forget, you can just follow along with that and it makes it super beginner friendly. We have the brush cleaner, which is the green bottle and step number five. And as a little bit of an added bonus, they also include some cuticle oil, which is the purple bottle and step number six. I have yet to use double dips cuticle oil, so I was super excited that this was included. It was a very nice scent too. It wasn't anything strong. It was very nice and I loved using it on my nails in the end too. It just was really nourishing to my cuticles. So here are the essential dip liquids and cuticle oil. And these are very important when you are doing your dip manicures because this is really what pulls the whole thing together. So it is great that is it is included. I'm going to go ahead and save the dip powders for last since I will be swatching them. But this little goodie bag here is also included in this kit. Of course, you get the hollow bag, which is amazing. Great for travel. Great, you can even use it for your makeup or any other products or storage. But inside of here, we do get some goodies and essentials to also continue doing your dip manicures. So I'm just going to be removing everything out of the bag and then I am going to be talking about everything in depth and just showing everything close up so you know what all is included. Um, this is kind of like a little bonus thing and you get some extra items. Very great and useful. You get the little dip powder kit instructions. This is very great for beginners. I kind of flipped through the pages here and it really went in depth. You got to see how to use the brush cleaner. It showed pictures and step-by-step -step on how to use their products. Absolutely amazing and perfect for beginners. We also get a buffing block. We get a larger hand file. This was actually really good quality as well. I'm not sure the grit, maybe 100, 100, 180, not sure, but we also get a small nail file as well. So you get two different sizes, which would work for nail extensions and also just your natural nails. We get the dust brush, which is very good quality and super good for removing the extra dip powder so you do not ruin or damage your dip liquids. It is very important to use this to brush away all of that remaining powder. Next, we get a cuticle pusher. And let me just tell you, this cuticle pusher is one of the highest quality cuticle pushers that I have ever used. 
Um, I don't know. I just really liked it. The way it had that little ledge on it, it pushed back my cuticles so nicely. It was so easy to use. I just really loved this cuticle pusher so much. It was so high quality and just very easy to use. And the last thing besides these six dip powders are these little clips, which you get 10 of them. And these clips are great for removal. That way you don't have to use tin foil. You can just soak your cotton ball in 100% acetone and then put it on your nail and then put this purple clip right over top of it. And this acts as aluminum foil, but it's a lot easier to use. And these are just your soak off clips and you will use these to remove your dip powder manicures. I think it's pretty awesome that they include these just because these are pretty essential, especially if you are doing your nails to keep them on for a long period of time, you will eventually want to remove them. Now let's go ahead and move into the six colors of dip powder. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, you can buy this nail dip starter kit in three different sizes. You can choose one color of dip powder, four colors of dip powder, or six colors of dip powder. And I chose six colors, which is the best value. Definitely recommend getting these six colors. On the container, they are 0.5 ounce. They are fast dry dipping powder, and they can be used as dip acrylic and ombres. This one here is 414, and honestly, these colors were so nice. I loved these colors so much. I feel like this color combination that I picked for this set was honestly a really nice color combination for beginners. It was just a good variety of colors. We have 606, which is another very nice color, but honestly, this is a build your own dip kit. So when you are purchasing this on the website, you can pick any six colors that you want to include in your kit. You can pick nudes, you can pick all purples, all blues, pink and blues. You can kind of go crazy and pick any colors. If you want to choose all glitters, just go for it, girl. You can choose any six colors that you want, but these are the six colors that I did choose for my Build Your Own Dip Kit. I also think it is very essential to have the clear base. I think it is very important, especially if you're doing your dip powder manicures on your natural nails, it is always best to lay a clear layer down first. So if you are a beginner and first going into dip powder, I really recommend adding one of your colors to be the clear base because it is very useful, especially when you are using colors with glitter in them, making ombres, making French tips, or anything like that. I really recommend getting that clear base for one of your first colors. Also, not only is this kit beginner friendly, but also just for any nail lover, it comes with a bunch of essentials that you will always need during your nail journey. And I honestly think it's just an amazing deal. $80 for all of these products, plus you can get 20% off with my discount code BRANDY20. Like, what what is that even like i don't know i was just blown away with that price like you get all of these goodies for just an amazing price like really what is better than that and i highly highly recommend checking it out so i will again have it linked in the description box of this video i am going to be swatching these six colors using the dip base the red bottle step number two I have some square swatch sticks and they are clear so I am going to be applying it to the underside. So I'm just applying the dip base to the underside of the nail and then I will just be dipping it into the product. While I'm finishing out swatching these colors, I did want to go ahead and mention that if you are still interested in purchasing the Double Dip Easter Spring Dip Powder Collection, I did do a video on those colors. I will have it linked up in the cards if you haven't seen that 
video already, but they do have 10 beautiful colors that are their Easter collection and still live on their website. I do have a code for those, which is Brandy30, and if you purchase all 10 of those colors, you can get 30% off, which is an amazing deal, and that code also works if you purchase 10 of any color on their website. So if you are wanting to add some new dip powders to your collection, make sure you check it out now because that code is an exclusive offer and it will end at the end of the month. So after I applied two coats to all of the nails, I did add on some activator and I just want to go ahead and show these swatches. We have 414 Bridal Blush, 606 Express Mauve, that's a very nice nude. We have 495 Cutie Patootie. Really loved this one. A beautiful teal with some shimmers. 410 Gentleman's Gray. This one was a grayish purple shade. 1399 Golden Secret. A beautiful gold glitter. And 000 The Clear Base. Here are all of the colors side by side and the six colors that I chose for this build your own dip kit. Don't forget that you can choose any six colors that you would want to be adding to your nails, but I just really like these colors and wanted to add these ones to my dip powder collection. And I am so in love with these colors. They are so amazing. So now let's go ahead and move on to the nail set. I am going to be using the Bella Vina Premium Jelly Liquids, and I'm also going to be applying the Jelly Almond Medium Nail Tips. These jelly liquids include the Protein Bond, Adhesive Primer, Press-On Glue Gel, and the No Wipe Top Coat. Definitely recommend these products. They are very high quality, and I absolutely love them, and they really make your manicures last a lot longer. We are first going to start by pushing back our cuticles using the cuticle pusher that came in the Build Your Own Dip Kit. Again, this, this cuticle pusher was just so high quality. I loved it so much. You are gently just going to want to push back your cuticles. That way you can remove any of that dead cuticle that is on your nail plate and also create more room for your manicure. Also, don't forget to be doing that gently. Next, you are going to want to take a file, a buffing block, a sanding band and on an e-file, anything just to remove that shine from your natural nail plate. I just went ahead and used the buffing block because I did just have a set of nails on and my nails didn't really need to be roughed up too much, but I did just want to go ahead and show it for the video purpose. Also, if you are wondering why I am not doing my thumb in this video, it is because I did want to create a little Instagram reel over on Instagram. So you can go to Instagram and check that video out to see me doing my thumb. But I just decided that I like doing my thumb for the reel. So I just kind of go ahead and do that process when I'm filming the reel. After that, I honestly just kind of like to go in and brush away that dust. That way I can remove all of that before I go in with the liquids. I'm first starting off with the Protein Bond. This is a dehydrator and it does remove all of the oils from your nail plate and allows the dip powder to adhere better. I'm sorry, not the dip powder. It allows the nail tip and the gel to adhere better to your natural nail and just creates a really good bond to make it last a lot longer. Now, after that air dries, I'm taking my adhesive primer and this really allows the product to grip. It kind of has that like sticky tackiness where when you apply the gel, it just grips on and again, it makes your manicure as a last for that three to four weeks mark. After that air dried, I'm now taking the press on glue gel. This acts as a very thick base coat, so it can be a little bit hard to apply. You just want to make sure you wipe your brush and just gently apply it to your nail, making sure you cover your full nail plate surface. And then once you have that on all of your nails, you will want to go ahead and cure for 30 to 60 seconds in your UV LED nail lamp. I do want to mention that the dip liquid or the dip kit, you do not need a UV LED nail lamp, but if you do want to use these products, you will need a UV LED nail lamp. I hope that's not confusing, but you will see what I mean once we get further into the video. 
I'm now going to be applying the jelly nail tips. I'm using my small mini lamp along with that press-on glue gel and I'm going to be applying these this press-on glue gel to the cuticle area of the nail and then I will be pressing it on to my natural nail. I don't know why I always have troubles explaining this, but you will just want to press it on and pull, let the product go the whole way up to where your natural nail starts and then you will want to make sure you hold it there and cure under the lamp. I personally like to turn the lamp on before I put the nail tip on Get the nail tip on, make sure that product goes up to the my natural nail, and then I like to hold it under the lamp. You can hold it under the lamp until the lamp turns off by itself, or you can just do a quick flash cure to make sure the nail is on. And then once you have all of the nails on, you can then go ahead and put them into your big lamp and do a full cure of 60 seconds. That way you can make sure you can make sure that product does have a full cure. Personally, that is what I like doing. That way I can just do one full cure and do little cures in between getting on the nails. After the nails are fully cured, I'm taking my double dip Bellavina Professional e-file. And I'm going to be taking a cuticle ball bit and taking that and going around the cuticle area. You can also use an e-file when doing this, but I didn't mean an e-file. You can also use a hand file to do this, but personally, I find it a lot quicker and easier using a e-file especially with the cuticle ball bit because if you get any of that extra product on your on your skin, you can actually take that ball bit over your skin and just get it off, which I find really nice. I am doing this very gently. This footage is sped up. Just wanted to make that clear. But definitely, if you are looking for a new e-file, I will have that one linked down below. I totally recommend it. It is my favorite e-file and you can actually get 50% off with my discount code BRANDY50. After I went in with the e-file, I did take my hand file, crisp up the shape, and also taking my buffing block to remove the shine from the nail tips so they will be ready for my dip powder application. After filing and buffing, I did take my dust brush to remove that dust, and here are the three colors plus the clear base that I decided to use for today's nail set, Cutie Patootie, Bridal Blush, and Golden Secret. I will be needing the clear base for the glitter shade. Here are what the nails are looking like, super short and super simple, I love it. I'm so used to doing like 3XL nails, so when looking at these short ones, I think I find it very classy and cute. I'm first going to start off with Cutie Patootie. I like to give my dip powders a little bit of a shake before I use them. That way I can mix them up and blend the powder and the glitter and color together. I am going to be doing the regular dip method using the dip base step number two. Normally on my channel, I use the gel method, but I decided that I would go ahead and use the regular method for today. That way, if you are a beginner and don't want to use a nail lamp, you can see how to do it with using the regular dip liquids essentials. So I just wanted to mention that I am going to be just starting off applying that to the full cover nail tip and applying it to the entire full cover nail tip and just dipping straight into the dip powder. Then I just kind of like bump my nail to bump off that extra powder and while letting that dry I did move on to my next finger. These essential dip liquids do dry on their own so really they are very safe because you do not need to use a UV LED nail lamp at all. So you just go ahead, apply the product, dip the product and let it dry. It is super easy to do. And just look at how cute this color is. Absolutely loving it. I am now moving on to the bridal blush color and doing that on my ring finger. Just repeating those same steps. Super easy. It is especially easy doing dip powder when you are using full cover nail tips. 
using full cover nail tips instead of half cover nail tips really saves you the hassle of needing to build up a apex and the structure of the nail because full cover nail tips are already strong enough by themselves and have that strength. You really don't need to worry about building an apex or any structure so you are able to just go in with two to three layers of dip powder. I like to try to stick with two, but when using glitters, I normally go in with three because I do apply that clear base over top, but really, you only need about two to three layers when you are using full cover nail tips. So that also really does save your product. And personally, for beginners, I definitely recommend trying these jelly nail tips since they are full cover instead of using half cover nail tips and needing to struggle with building a structure and an apex. After that first layer is dry, I'm taking my dust brush to remove all of that extra powder from the nails. This is a very, very important step because you do not want to ruin your dip liquids. After that extra powder is removed, I am going to be going in with the second layer of color onto all of the nails. This is where my nose kind of started to run and my eyes started to water. If you have watched my previous dip videos, you have heard me say that normally I don't like using the essential dip liquids just because the my eyes and my nose is super sensitive, so when I'm using these, they are a little bit strong for me and do make my eyes water and stuff like that. So at this point, they were watering and I just wasn't liking it, so I did go ahead and switch to the base coat method. If you've never seen this before, I will have a video linked up in the cards where I solely focus on explaining this method. So make sure you check that out if you are interested in seeing this method. With this gel method, it is basically the same exact thing, but you will need to cure the nails, which means you will need to put your hand into a UV LED nail lamp. Super simple, super basic, just like the essential dip liquids, but another very helpful tip when doing the gel method is instead of dipping, you will need to pour the product over your nail. I hope this isn't getting confusing at this point. I was a little bit worried that it might, but I really hope that it is not. And if it is getting confusing, make sure you just continue watching this video and then check the cards and you can go watch how to do the dip method in the video that I have linked up in the cards. But when you are doing the dip method, the gel method with dip powder, you will need to pour over the product or you will get wrinkles in the product because the gel will move unlike the dip base where it doesn't move and you can just dip. But anyways, after that second coat is applied, I went ahead, brushed off the extra powder, and now I'm going to be going in with the clear base on all of the nails. Again, using the gel method. For the gel method, I don't even think I mentioned this, but I'm just going to be using a Bella Vina base coat. And that is all you do with the gel method. Instead of using the essential dip liquids base coat, you will just use a gel base coat instead. And as you can see here, I'm just going to be applying this clear to all of the nails. I did go ahead and just apply it to all of the nails. I don't know really why, but I kind of just went and did it. So that is that. But basically you really want to focus the clear on top of glitter nails or really any dip powder that has glitter. That way when you do go in with your filing and buffing, you won't remove any of those glitters. It is also very helpful if you would rather use it to build up your nails a little bit. I don't know, I personally like to just use it to encapsulate. I think really some of these did have fine glitter in them, so I just decided I would go over with a layer of clear and just show you really how to encapsulate your dip powder nails. After the, I did go in with all of the coats of the clear, I did cure for 30 to 60 seconds in my nail lamp since I did use the gel method with the clear base. After curing, here are how the nails are looking after the extra dip powder has been removed. Now it is time to go in with my filing and buffing. Like I mentioned, when you are using full cover nail tips, you don't need to worry about adding a bunch of layers. Another thing, you want to stick to about three to four coats, two to three, 
sometimes four, but really if you get up there to four coats, your nails are going to look super bulky and you're going to need a, to do a lot of filing and just really you're going to be wasting your powder at that point. So really I like to stick to two to three coats when I am doing full cover nail tips and really you don't need to do much filing at all. I did a little bit of filing, a little bit of buffing, and now I'm going in with that dip top. I personally do not like this top coat at all, but I did want to apply it that way I could show you the whole process of doing dip powder nails to start to finish. And technically, you could be done right here, but for me, I did want to add a little bit of nail art and some rhinestones but this top coat does dry on its own and you can kind of see like how it doesn't look super glossy and smooth. That is the reason I don't like it, but it's okay because I'm going to be adding on some nail art and a gel top coat in the end. But let's go ahead and move on to some nail art. I did mix some colors and also just added colors on my palette here. And I'm just going to be using a small dotting tool and doing some simple basic nail art. Honestly, these nail arts are super beginner friendly. It's kind of hard to see because the nail is small, but all I'm doing is using my dotting tool, taking a color that I want, putting a dot, and then like going around and drawing a flower like a little kid would on a piece of paper. It was super easy, especially with using a dotting tool because you could act as it was a pencil. I don't know. I just felt like this nail art was very beginner friendly. It was super easy and I just felt like a little kid coloring in a coloring book or drawing some flowers just because it was so easy to do and using that dotting tool just made it feel like I was using a pencil instead of a brush. So this, I don't know really what the flowers, I just kind of wanted to make some super cute little flowers. So I just went in with some four different colors and then I cured that. And then for the next nail, I'm taking my nail art brush that comes in the April Deluxe Mystery Box from Double Dip, which is super great. If you haven't purchased that, you should definitely check that out. I also do have a code where if you purchase the mystery box, you can add the essential dip liquids to your cart and get them for free. I will go ahead and pop that process up on screen and also the code as well. But that is super great. You also get a bunch of goodies in that box. I just... Love, I'm loving Double Dip. You need to check out my new videos. I did do an unboxing on the April Deluxe box, mystery box. If you haven't seen that, definitely recommend it. I also forgot to mention throughout the video that if you are not a dip powder fan, they also sell polygel on their website. If you did not know that, they sell gel liners, they sell gel products, jelly tips, and not only that, but these dip powders can also be used as acrylic powders. So if you don't like dip powder, you can buy the dip powder and also use them as acrylic powder. So they are a two-in-one, which is super nice for the acrylic and dip powder people. After I had on kind of like that rainbow, I did cure for 60 seconds in my nail lamp. And then I'm taking my Bellavina top coat, which comes in all of the polygel kits. I will have my favorite one linked below, but the, this top coat is included in all of their kits. And the rhinestones I'm using are also included in all of their polygel kits as well. But I'm just doing some cuticle rhinestones on the ring fingernail. I really did not have a plan for this nail set at all, so it kind of got a little bit crazy, a little bit colorful and fun. I did go ahead and add some colorful dots to some of the nails as well. I just thought this nail set turned out so cute, so fun, and also very simple at the same time, and of course, beginner friendly. To top off the nail set, I'm just going to be topping it off with some Bellavina gel top coat. I, again, like this gel top coat so much. It is a very nice, thick consistency, still easy to apply, but it really does seal in all of your nail art and leaves a glossy finish. I did cure for 30 to 60 seconds, and now we are going to be applying our cuticle oil to nourish our cuticles. Again, this was my first time using this cuticle oil, and I really loved it. It was a very nice soft scent, but it really nourished my cuticles and just topped off the nail set. 
I really love how these nails looked. Um, definitely this nail set was not planned at all. It was kind of a freestyle. I kind of just went with the flow. In the end, I didn't know really what nail art I wanted to do. Honestly, I was just going to do some French tips and some cuticle rhinestones, but in the end, I really like how they turned out. Just look at that glitter nail. So beautiful. Absolutely love it. If you are wanting to try this dip kit or any other products that I did use in today's video, make sure you check the description box. I also have links for the Double Dip website so you guys can save your coins, of course. And I also will have some videos linked up in the cards of other things that I mentioned in today's video. So make sure you check that out as well if you also are a Double Dip fan or a nail fan like me. Comment below a flower or a rainbow if you guys are still watching, so I know you made it this far. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.